Hi and welcome to my channel. So thank you for um, sending me all those emails and those questions. And um, I apologize if I wasn't replying, uh, if I was not replying to those as fast as I can. Um, I have been busy with um, the CP3 program. So this is a Canadian pharmacy practice program here at UBC. Um, so um, I'll just put the link to the program below so you guys can take a look if you're um, interested in gaining your license here in BC. So this program is only mandatory if you graduated from uh, a university outside of um, Canada and the States and you would like to get your license here in BC. Okay, so to, the, um, to answer some of the questions that I have received, um, I have received a lot of questions about how to prepare for the PEBC part two, which is the um, OSCE and the MCQ exams. So I'm just going to mention some of the references that I have um, came across with and um, some of the references that were recommended by some of my colleagues and those who passed those exams. So the first one is the um, CTC book. So this is the CTC book. It's a podium. I think that's how you pronounce it, of therapeutic choices. Um, I don't know, is it clear? So yeah, so this book is the uh, main reference. Here it's used by pharmacists, actually even those students who go to UBC as a, for undergrad, they study from this book for the MCQ and the OSCE. Uh, so basically this is like um, a therapeutics book, but the, the unique thing about this, it's um, it talks about uh, mostly the guidelines that are used here in Canada and the, uh, the products here, um, only those available in Canada. And if a product is not available, it would mention here that it's not, um, it's not available in Canada or it's, um, so it's very, um, it's general, but again, it's, um, it's, it's related to the, um, to the Canadian uh, therapeutics or Canadian practice. So it's actually a nice book. It is available online, so you can purchase this through um, Canadian Pharmacists Association. Um, I think it's, I don't know if it's clear here. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the association website. You can order this book and you can have, um, you can request to have an online access to this book as well. So uh, I honestly did not purchase the hard copy book, but I only have the online access uh, because I thought this was just too heavy to carry around and um, yeah, so it's not really practical just if I want to study um, outside of my house. Uh, what I like about this book is that it has like kind of these flow charts and they're quite helpful when you're studying for the uh, for the MCQ or the OSCE. And at the end of each chapter, you can, you'll have drug schedules or, or drug tables like these which is like a like a summary of all the medications used in this um, in this um, disease state, such as here it's uh, for acute stroke. So all these medications that are used in acute stroke, and it would mention the dose, um, adverse effects, and some comments. And if there are like drug interactions, it would mention it here as well. The cost is also considered in this case, so um, that's why it's um it's a nice organized book. So this is actually the main reference. There's another book, it's called the CTMA, which is for non-prescription medications and all those um, self-care um, situations, such as you have constipation, nausea, and things of that sort. It is also found on the um, on the um, pharmacist Canadian Pharmacist Association website. Um, some of the libraries would have an online access and a hard copy. So I got this book actually from the library. I borrowed it because I wanted to... Um, I wanted to practice reading um, the book, the hard copy as well. And um, so yeah, Vancouver Public Library actually provides an online access and you can borrow the book, the hard copy. However, the online access, you can only access it if you are in the library. So you can bring in your laptop and use the RxTx website or you can access CTC and the CTMA as well. I'll put the links below. Uh, for those uh, for those books and you can actually just um, take a look. So these are the two main references that I would recommend for the um, OSCE and the uh, and the MCQ as well. Um, there's another um, reference, uh, there's another source, I mean, uh, Farm Achieve. So those are, um, they provide an online course for both OSCE and MCQ. Um, they also have um, a course for the evaluating exam.
The unique thing with Farm uh, Farm Achieve is that they have um, all the disease states are summarized, so they're like in a in a slide format. So I'm just going to show you one of the lectures that I have, and so I printed this just to show you um, what it's like. So this is for documentation. Um, so you can see all the slides are quite summarized and you have all the necessary information that you need to learn to prepare for the, uh, P for the MCQ. They also provide uh, um, question bank. So it's an online questions bank, which is uh, um, it's quite helpful. Um, I had a chance to take a look at it. So you can, uh, you can subscribe to the uh, questions bank by itself or you can, uh, I apologize, I meant uh, you can subscribe to the questions bank only, or you can subscribe to the um, lecture handouts along with there's a live lecture that would play and you can actually interact with the lecture. You can send in questions and things of that sort. Yes, yeah, so the lectures with the online lecture, with the online lectures and the, um, and the MCQs, of course, it's different in prices. Uh, so uh, I'll put the link below so you can check it out. They also provide for the evaluating exam as well, uh, an online prep course. Um, I will share the links below and uh, I made like a sort of a comparison between the prices of those. So regarding the cost of the CTC, um, it's, it's relatively um, $239 plus tax and the CTMA is around $300 plus tax. So that's the price of those books. Um, for the MCQ, if you wanna, if you want to obtain the um, pharmacy achieve online course with the question bank, it is one thousand five hundred and ninety eight dollars. So it's around sixteen hundred dollars, and the question bank alone it's about six hundred and seventy five dollars. For the evaluating is exam, it's uh, um, nine hundred and ninety dollars for that um, for the online prep. Uh, so yeah, so this is the information that I have. Oh, one more thing. So for the um, for the MCQ part of the PVC, um, you need to study some of the things that are not mentioned in the CTC. So you have the non-therapeutics part, such as the ethics, um, the drug schedules, um, calculations, pharmacokinetics, and all those things. So. Uh, so one of the advantages of Farm Achieve is that you can, um, everything is there, everything is organized, you have all the ethics, the healthcare system, um, it's all there in, from one place. But for the, if you choose to study on your own using these two references, the CTC and the CTMA, um, you'll have to gather those, um, those materials on your own. So I'm just going to put in the links below, uh, the link below, uh, for some of the materials that I think are helpful um, to help you to help you prepare for those exams. And um, so good luck and thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please um, email me uh, or comment below. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.